Good evening, good evening. Welcome to our living room. Sing along. All right. Yeah, watching live and unrehearsed. I hear you, Tommy. Good to see you all on deck. We are in for a fun-filled evening. <laughs> yes, you noticed the 400 back there. We're going to talk about that more later. We've got a few surprises, a few ways that we hope you will be blessed uh, as we sing and as we share tonight. Can we sing a verse of, uh, boy, yeah. Um, I was thinking of I Will Sing the Wonder Story. You know that one? Did we sing the song to Mercy of the Lord? Did I just play it? I just played it. Let's do that first. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. With my mouth will I make known Thy faithfulness, Thy faithfulness. With my mouth will I make known Thy faithfulness through all generations. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Yeah, well, God bless you. Welcome to our unedited, unrehearsed sing-along tonight. And it is going to be a special night of praise. At least that's going to be the goal. And like I said, we have some neat surprises. You might have seen one slip through <laughs> just now. So um, we're glad for that. Some of, So many of you were asking about some of the different areas or the different um, things that we did on our sing-along. And uh, here we are. Can you believe it? 400 sing-alongs. What a blessing from God. And God is blessed. And I need my uh, hot tea over there. If somebody can get that, hon. Thank you for that. So, yeah. Hopefully, we'll be able to go down memory lane and just enjoy our time together. So, here we have Mr. Logan with us. All right. It's been a while, Logan, hasn't it? I tell you what. So glad you can make it. I think you were traveling today, weren't you? I was. All yeah. right. Back in the town a little over an hour ago. Mm -hmm. I just sent out a last minute text to him and he's like, I think I can make it. And here he is. And so we're going to have some banjo time. Like, matter of fact, we might do a banjo song or two right away. As soon as Mr. Logan feels comfortable with his tuning there. And uh, we'll see what happens with that. And I got this. Hey, there's my sneeze. That's out of the way. My annual. Hopefully that's out of the way. Seems like I've been sneezing a little more tonight than usual. But first things first, happy 2024 to all of you. It's my prayer that you will sense God's blessing in a special way through this coming year. It's our prayer for that. And that you will be able to yeah, have a, a, a wonderful, blessed year. Well, let's go to the key of G and start out with that banjo number. I'll fly away. You got the first verse?
forward to that day. What if it would happen in 2024? Wouldn't that be awesome? Logan says not yet because, you know, he wants to get married first and start a family. <laughs> I remember having that feeling anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, we all know in our heads anyway, might not feel in our hearts, but nothing would be better than being with the Lord and being in eternity with Him with no more pain, sorrow, sin, or brokenness at all. So what's another song that comes to your mind, Banjo? Can, can we feature the banjo for like one more number or maybe two more? And then we'll have you stay and play with the rest of us. We're going to have some surprises coming in here shortly. Um... What comes to your mind? Oh, boy. Yeah, I know. Me too. I didn't write anything down. I saw the light. Yeah, okay. There you go. How's that go? Uh, da, 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 da. Right? Okay, you got it. I'll tell you, one of the reasons it really was appropriate to have Logan here tonight was because, honestly, when he was with us on the sing-alongs, that really drawed a, a, drew a lot of people. Our audience got larger. Not, not making me feel good or anything there, Logan. That's just kidding. I am, actually. Yeah. Okay. And so the next surprise comes from an old story that I promised not to repeat all night. But we come from that song that became so popular for our children called How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? In the key of C, I think. How much is that doggy in the window? Oh, oh. The one with the gully tail. How much is that doggy in the window? Pennsylvania and leave my poor sweetheart alone. If she has a dog, she won't be lonely, and the doggy will have a good home. Come on now. So how much is that doggy in the window? Oh, oh. The one with the The Dara Roberts with flashlights that shine in the dark. Yeah. My love needs a doggy to protect her and chase him away with one bark. Whoa. So, how much is that doggy in the window? Oh, oh. The one with the waggly tail. Come on, Winter. How much is that doggy? I do hope that doggy's for sale. I don't want a bunny or a kitty. 
I don't want a parrot that talks. Polly wants a cracker. I don't want a bowl of little fishies. Fish splash. Cause you can't take a goldfish for a walk. So how much is that doggy in the window? Ow, ow. The one with the waggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? Ow, ow. I do hope that dog is for Usually, when he's not too shocked, Mr. Winsor starts barking when we do that. <laughs> but he didn't tonight. He's looking for your face. He's like, who's holding me? He's confused. Anyway, yeah, it's appropriate that, it had Winsor, or that we had Trevor coming out with his doggy suit. And uh, because I'll tell you, back in the day when we had a lot of kids listening, and when Trevor was willing to do it, we did that. And so we're going to go now to a song called Jesus Loves Me. Trevor, can you do the hand motions to that? Like you did, you have to put him down, I reckon. <laughs> but uh, he did the sign language to this, and it really intrigued a lot of kids. And, and yeah, any way you put it, Jesus Loves Me is a beautiful song in the key of C. what Trevor what are we thinking of when we think in honor of one of your other pets that used to hang out on the sing-along song who was it popcorn oh <laughs> it was it was it was kitty what's her name Annie yeah all right come on back here we'll see kitty kitty you do some motions for Annie there <laughs> or just bounce along anyway see if I can still remember this song somebody sent us this one this is one of the songs that we learned specifically for the sing-along uh, there's only a few like that, I think. The rest of we tried to sing in Wrecked or something. So, you know, Logan, I got a good picture of you. Of You know, there's like hundreds of people older than you out there. Uh, and so there's there's a lot of grannies like, oh, and he's so handsome and all this stuff. How can you play? And, and, and then one of them said, smile, Logan. <laughs> that was good. In the book of Daniel, there's a story to be told of a little Hebrew boy who was 14 years old. He was carried from his home as he marched to Babylon, but in his heart he knew his God would help him carry on. Well, he threw Daniel in the lion's den when there was no way out. Well, Daniel didn't scream, Daniel didn't holler, and Daniel didn't Sit down, Daniel stood tall. When the lion saw the angels, they caught the fur ball. <laughs> well, they threw Daniel in the lion's den when there was no way out. Well, Daniel didn't scream, and Daniel didn't holler, and Daniel didn't even shout. He prayed to his God, and God heard his prayer. He closed the lion's mouth. Oh, 
Remember me, kitty? Nice kitty. <laughs> All right, enough of that nonsense. <laughs> Did you want one more, Trevor? Uh, what's he's gonna do oh, he's going to do Teddy song. Bear. Somebody actually requested Teddy Bear for this sing-along. I thought, okay, we'll work it in there. And Trevor said yes. So thank you, Trevor. A lot of people are saying it's good to see you. We're at 450 people already, says somebody. <laughs> that's amazing. And I'll tell you, that's one of the reasons we wanted to celebrate 400. Not because of what we've done. Because honestly, we had no idea. We still don't know what's going down most of the time. But uh, God has been good. And you guys have come on. And we have time, had worship times together. We've cried together. We've laughed together. We've prayed together. And it's just a gift from God. Right during one of the hardest times in our lives for most of us when we were going through COVID. I was just watching some of the old um, videos this afternoon. At least just bits and pieces of it. And of course, I saw how Trevor's gotten... A lot older looking. He didn't wear glasses back in the day and all that. And um, then also, I what else was I going to say about that? Hmm. Anyway, I thought it was just amazing how many people uh, spoke into this into this um, sing along. So those of you who have been with us almost 400 times, bless y'all hearts. <laughs> all right, let's try that teddy bear thing. I don't know if I can even play the background music. That I'll try to do something in C. I think, uh, or we should do it in G. Yeah, maybe G. I was on the out yeah, hey. I was on the outskirts of a little southern town, trying to reach my destination before the sun went down. The old CB was playing away on channel one nine, and there came a little boy's voice on the radio line. He said, Breaker one nine, is anyone there? Come on back, truckers, and talk to Teddy Bear. Well I keep the mic and said, You got it, Teddy Bear. And a little boy's voice came back on the air. Appreciate the break. Who you got on that end? I told him my handle and then he began. Now I'm not supposed to bother you fellas out there. Mom says you're busy and for me to stay off the air. But you see, I get lonely and it helps to talk. Cause that's about all I can do. I'm crippled and I can't walk. I came back and told him to fire up that mic. And I talked to him as long as he liked. There was a, this was my dad's radio, the little boy said. But I guess it's mine now, mine and mom's now, because my daddy's dead. Dad had a wreck about a month ago. He was trying to get home in the blind in snow. Mom has to work now to make ends meet. And I'm not much help with my two crippled feet. She says not to worry that we'll make it all right. But I hear her crying sometimes late at night. You know, there's just one thing I want more than anything else to see. Oh, I know you guys are too busy to bother with me. But you see, my dad used to take me for rides when he was home. But I guess that's all over now, since my daddy's gone. Not one breaker came back in the old CB, as that little boy, crippled boy talked with me. I tried hard to swallow a lump that just wouldn't stay down as I thought about my boy back in Greenville town. <clears throat> Dad was going to take Mom and me with him later on this year. Well, I remember him saying, Someday this old truck will be yours, Teddy Bear. But I know I'll never get to ride an 18-wheeler again. But this old base will keep me in touch with all my trucker friends. <clears throat> Teddy Bear's going to back on out now and leave you alone, because it's about time for Mom to come home. But you gave me a shout when you're passing through, and I'll sure be happy to come back to you. Well, I came back and I said, uh, before you go, 1010, what's your home 20, little CB friend? Well, he gave me his address, and I didn't once hesitate, because this hot load of freight is just going to have to wait. Come on. I turned that truck around on a dime and headed straight for Jackson Street, 229. And as I rounded the corner, oh, I got one heck of a shock. 18 wheelers were lined up for three city blocks. Oh, yeah. Why, I guess every driver for miles around had caught Teddy Bear's call. And that little cripple boy was having a ball. For as fast as one driver would carry him in, another one would carry him to his truck and take off again. Well, you better believe I took my turn at riding Teddy Bear. And then I carried him back in and put him down in his chair. 
And buddy, if I never live to see happiness again, I want you to know I saw it that day in the face of that little man. We took up a collection for him before his mama got home. And each driver said goodbye, and then they were all gone. He shut my hand with a mile long grin and said, So long, trucker, I'll catch you again. While well, I hit the interstate with tears in my eyes and turned on the radio, and I got another surprise. Breaker 1 9 came a voice on the air. Just one word of thanks from Mama Teddy Bear. We wish each and every one a special prayer for you. Because you just made my little boy's dream come true. Also enough now before I start to cry. May God ride with you. 10-4 and goodbye. Alright, thank you Trevor. Remember the years gone by when you did that first? <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you what. And that song was requested by Ellen Mass. Yeah, Ellen requested that for this night, so thank you for doing that, Ellen. Maybe it was your way of trying to make sure you got uh, Teddy Bear on here, or Trevor on here again. I don't know, but he's been, his lifestyle's changed a lot in the last couple of years, and uh, been putting in some late nights sometimes at uh, work, although that's not his preference. <laughs> By the stretch of the imagination. And uh, he actually, I gotta tell this on him. He hates working so late that sometimes he offered Logan 20 bucks or 30 bucks or whatever, 10 bucks to stay. I try to bribe him into staying and doing that. Hey, the next surprise sometimes we got. It works too. <laughs> I told him, stop it. <laughs> We're going to bring in another wonderful set of people with us, and they're going to stick with us as long as they can put up with us. And that's our son, Chris, our daughter, Dorcas, who from time to time has helped us, especially in the times in Roxbury. Well, Chris traveled with us for a while, if you remember. Uh, and Dorcas, you um, sang with us, and they do such a good job. So I, I, I hate to make it or ask them to do it too much. Can she slide over on the other side of um, of uh, you a little more, Ruth, so that she sees your face? Oh, you might need to see the words of that. There you go. So yeah, I want to just kind of, I just want to kind of tell you what um, what we saw on stats today, and I don't want to talk too long. But I do want to give God the glory. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Reminds me what happened when, who invented, the, who invented the telegraph? What was that guy's name? The first things he typed on the telegraph. You guys remember? He said, I think it was, oh man, I hope I'm right here. See what God hath wrought. And he was like amazed at yeah, the telegraph. Now look at us. Here we are all these years later. Now we're saying, oh my goodness, we're doing so much more. And I just want to say, see what the Lord has wrought. And, uh, Honestly, I still struggle sometimes with taking it seriously. I mean, hey, we throw up a guitar, we don't practice, we just have fun. And yet I've seen God taking something like that and use it. So right now, the last 28 days, the last 28 days of our Facebook sing-alongs, uh, we've had the post reach 94,616 people. That's just amazing. The post says engage, it's caused post engagement of 25,117, including 107 new followers today. So our followers, I'm sorry, our followers, total followers that actually signed up to get the notification is around 23,680. And uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to give you some of them numbers. It just blows me away. And one thing I really appreciate of the shares, the last 28 days have been 284 shares. And that's amazing. Thank you for sharing this because it's gone across the world, literally. And every once in a while, I still would get notifications that, the one that uh, we did together, Logan, years ago, um, and also the Roxbury one, had people all of a sudden making comments. I'm like, how did this happen? Well, somebody shared it on their page, and then those people made comments. At least that's the realization that I had there. Just for the fun of it, I'll stop talking after a while, I promise. I only got one page of this. Uh, the values that we got were, for the audience, was really interesting to me. 25, or, yeah, 25.8% were men. 74.2% were women. I don't know what that says. I get, <laughs> and I well, will, you don't, and that's not showing all the men that are watching with the women. Oh, that's right. They use the women's <laughs> posts. Good point. Good point. And uh, boy, I'll tell you, some of you have been yeah with us for a long time. Here's one more stat I'd like to give you. Every 28 days, it tells us which countries had the most people listening. And this will blow you away because it blew me away. So in this last 28 days, the most popular city was Port Moresby in Papua New Guinea, 160 people from that city. Um, the next one was Cape Town, South Africa, 88 from that city, followed by 
Sydney, Australia, 85, and followed by Millersburg, Ohio. Where's that at? 78. <laughs> and then there was a Melbourne, Australia, 75. Uh, a Fiji, I'm not even going to try to say that city, Saba. Fiji, 70. And the Philippines had 69 in the Bagango City. Winnipeg MB had in Canada had 69. Lancaster had 66. And Goshen, Indiana, 64. And I'll stop there. <laughs> that was just kind of a fun stat thing of how many from the same uh, city were listening there. So we're going to go to, uh, let's do, let's, can, we, can we interject in here? God is in this story. Or should we wait? Yeah. Let's do that one. I, I need that um, in the book here. Yeah. So um, there's this neat song that I think Chris sang it a couple times at church here. Dorcas, did you sing it too, Sam? We literally um, sang it a year ago today. No kidding. Oh, my goodness. Do you have the soundtrack? Right. Can I use a second? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I... this is for Marianne and Norman. Yeah. It's wedding anniversary. It's too. also about... How God takes our story and comes into our story in ways that we don't even understand or, or begin to know. And uh, so I'm going to try to play along. I wish I would have had foresight to get the soundtrack up for you guys. But we'll, I think it's in the key of G. I'll tell you what, let me play this intro and see if we can pick it up from there. One, two.
Amen. I just want to comment on that. We had a lot of friends who have, we met through the, <laughs> I'm getting through you, Chuck. <clears throat> we met through the sing-along. We heard your stories and we wondered how you could sing. And yet in the beauty, the beauty is that, like that song says, God's there. And uh, the broken homes, some of you have struggled with depression and suicide and have had friends who have and I just saw tonight at the very beginning Janet you put on about the news about the suicide but I don't want to just dwell on that but isn't it amazing how God can take our stories and we out of that story comes something stronger than ever went whatever you went through and God is the God of comfort so tonight I'm just glad to have you all here and have you be part of the story as well so we're going to go ahead with some requests now and I just want to say special thank you to Logan, to Chris, to Dorcas, because they don't know what we're going to sing. They haven't practiced, and they, plus you put on top of that a guy who struggles with rhythm some. I'm not going to mention any names, but <laughs> me. And, and they've still come, come alongside and supported and blessed. And I remember when we first started, I would say, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure we're embarrassing our kids. And their response was uh, uh, different than what I thought. So <laughs> in that they said, well, you know, you go up there and you mess up, but it's okay. It's more relaxed. It's not a formal thing. So so thank you guys for your support. All right, where are we going? Let's sing some songs that we requested. Hey, Patricia Wilson requested, How Far Is Heaven? Ooh, that goes way back. We're going to try to do this in the key of C, Logan, I think. How far is heaven? Let's go to I know today we were talking about memories, about looking back over the year at, at the, our staff meeting, and one of the words that came up was loss. Some of you have said goodbye to a lot of friends in the, in the year 2023, especially since COVID from that year on. Can you believe it's been four years, 2020, um, that we first uh, started singing here, our sing-along, and um, the 400 
is the number that we came up with. I'm pretty sure we missed one or two or maybe, I don't know. But we'll, we'll leave that it is. And by the way, Logan, anytime we sing any of these songs and you feel a verse coming on after a chorus, lead right into it and pick it away, man. We'll take it gladly, all right? And uh, who, who asked for this one, honey? Okay. Joan Weil Hathaway requested victory in Jesus. All right, Joan, this is for you. We love this song. One of my favorite hymns, I believe. One of the many, I guess. <laughs> Victory in Jesus, what part do you want, Dorcas? Hey. I heard an old, old story How the Savior came from glory How he gave his life on Calvary To save a wretch like me I heard about his groaning Of his precious blood singing along. That's what I'm hoping is happening. What's that? That one Logan could have done. Which one? The uh, still about that. I don't know. I told him to jump in when he wants to do something. Yeah, <laughs> no pressure, but you know you need to know all of them. You know that. <laughs> Where are we going next? <clears throat> okay. J Janie Musser requested how beautiful heaven must be. Oh yeah. This one that was obviously requested quite a few times. We sang it quite a few times. Never tire of it. Um, yeah, I guess the thought that I'd like to share about that is that this is one of Anna Humphrey's favorite songs. Anna Humphreys was listening a lot when she was in the hospital, and um, I think about a couple days before she passed away, she I got to talk with her on the phone. Anna is twin sister to Fanny Humphreys. They are my cousins, my first cousins, and um, just through the years had a lot of interact or a bit of interaction, not not a lot maybe, but a good bit. And then we got connected again through the sing-along. They lived in Delaware, I think. Delaware, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, Anna's experiencing the beauty of heaven as uh, many of our friends are. And I guess I just want to take this opportunity. You know, one of the goals of the sing-along is if you don't know for sure, if you don't know that you're saved and that you're a child of the king, um, make sure of that. Don't put it off. 
because I, I want to I want to worship with you guys in heaven sometime. Too. Now there's going to be a sing along. Rosetta, you guys sang it. Oh, at the Stolzers reunion on Sunday. Stolzers family, sorry I wasn't there. We stayed in Colorado this year. Anyway, how beautiful heaven must be. Go ahead, hon. What you got? This is also requested by Daniel for his wife, Tabitha. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, she lost a loved one in December, I think. I forget if it was her dad or... For you, Tabitha. <laughs> Remember, we want to change them, the words to that song. Sweet chords from their gold guitars are ringing. Mm -hmm. Or I guess could be banjos too, if they allow them in heaven. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure they do. What's that? There's a verse that we don't sing that she posted. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. There's so many, you know, and some of the, so many of these hymns we've discovered. The wording is different. The music is different from hymn to hymn even. So that's kind of interesting for us. Go ahead. Hey, Darlene Black requested Family Bible. Oh, boy. We I was going to run. Not too sure. I don't, I don't know, know if we know this. You want one that has a train wreck, runs, right? There's a family. No, that's the wrong key. No, that's right. There's a family Bible on the table. Its pages are torn and hard to read. But the family Bible on the table will ever be the key to memory. At the end of... No, is that written? Oh, no, no, not yet. At the end of the day when work is over. tonight all right for your memory sakes <laughs> oh man <clears throat> yeah yeah we did that we did. hey 
We did the doggy in the wind. Is that you must have just missed it? Yeah. What a pity for you. She was the one that would always groan when we do the doggy in the wind and grandma's feather bed. We might get to that. I don't know. <laughs> Where are we going now? Long black train. Uh, this was oh. requested by Janet Twig. And Janet, you asked for this one. Oh. I need my capo. Oh boy, it's in my guitar case. Sorry. On the couch. I put it behind the couch. Behind the couch. Yeah. Hey, let's do a fun one while she gets that. I'm gonna sing. That's what we did a lot of. Key of B is around. I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. I'm gonna shout, shout, shout. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout. Praise the Lord. Makes no difference what the people may say. I'm gonna praise Him anyway. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout. Praise the Lord. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, Lord, I will. Probably don't have it in the case today. We'll just have to, I'll just have to do the key change by memory here. Um, a, B, C. There's a. Let's go to D. There's. We'll try that. There's a long black. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get that whistle. Give that whistle to somebody. Remember Hoover's? You gave us this whistle a long time ago. It would be wrong for us to not implement it. Somebody. Blow that horn every once in a while, guys. Make a train sound. There you go. There's a long black train Coming down the line Feeding off the souls that are lost and crying Realms of sin only evil remains So I shout, brother, for that long
is fun, guys. I don't know if you're having as much fun as I am, but I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, not so much, huh? Um, I think Mom said she's not going to feed him unless they help us or something like that. <laughs> Just kidding. Whoa, Ron bites all. Tell us where you're out on the truck. 10-hour break at Kingstown, Indiana, hauling 22,000 pounds of chocolate. <laughs> oh, let's take that truck hostage. From Carla PA to Illinois. Illinois is going to get some chocolate. <laughs> All righty then. Where are we going next, hon? Um, oh, yes. I don't know. I, that's all the requests, but I guess. All we'll right. Well, let's do this. Love. I got lots of songs on my mind here. Let's do this one. This one features Ruth, and uh, people haven't let, let her forget it. It's a great message. talks about love will bring us all together. Ruth does the chorus, right? Well, you'll help it. In the key of D again. Sorry about that, little dude. All things work together for good when God's love is understood. God is good and everything He does is right. Springtime flowers will then fade for the memories that they made are a ray of sunshine. love come into our heart and bless us why yeah let's do another let's do a picking song here um let me see here send the light do you do a verse of that in g if we do it in g no or not so much how about it? or you can do some boiling down cabbage or whatever you want a. what's that so how about a a yep that'll work there's a call
seemed like, especially during, and I hate to always talk about COVID, but it seemed like, especially during that time when we first started singing, this song just hit us big because we get all wrapped up in fighting our battles and we need to just get like David and remember the battle's not mine, it's the Lord's in the key of G. The battle's not mine, said little David. Lord, it's thine, I'm in your favor. I'm giving it all to you. I knew not what to do, and I'm so glad you let me see. You're really all that I need, for the battle's not mine. I give it to you. Lord, it's thine. Now, little David, oh, so small. And Goliath, oh so tall, the eyes were just too high for little David. But he shook off all of his load, for with the power of God he was clothed. He said, the battle's not mine, I give it to you, Lord, it's Before the giant he stood that day It seems it'll be the end for little David But like the lion and the bear he slew But old Goliath will come down too For the battle's not mine, I give it to you Lord, it's thine The battle's not mine, said little David Lord, it's thine, I'm in your favor As a record of getting things done, he said the battle's not mine, I give it to you, Lord, it's thine. The battle's not mine, said little David, Lord, it's thine, I'm in your favor, I've given it all to you, I knew not what to do, and I'm so glad you let me see, you're really all that I feeling like it's already wearing out i tell you what i can't quite have the the volume i used to have i guess i don't know by the way if you don't mind in honor of the lord and, and his goodness uh if you can think of a word or two that describes how you uh some things you remember about the sing-along feel free to put that on there some first time first things for us was of course uh for me the the sweetest memories are the feedback that we got from you from family from friends especially when we first started. It was so much fun to see our sisters and brothers. And, and somewhere along the line, when the, when the uh, camera started doing the in and out thing, we had to switch to a software that controls that. And so we switched to uh, this software. Right now, I can't think of the name of it. But anyway, um, when we did that, we stopped seeing the, the, the hearts and the likes that were popping across the screen as we'd sing. And so I kind of missed that, but maybe the Lord wanted to keep me focused instead of recognizing that. But uh, so I appreciate that. Your comments and, and your feedback is amazing. Another thing that was just so much fun, and it was actually out of our comfort zone a little more, and that was meeting, going, doing the live sing-alongs at the many different churches and for the first time meeting each other and face-to-face. -face. Oh, it was so much fun. Uh, oh, man, I remember the gal we met in Florida and all that. And yeah, so many different ones. Um, so that was fun. So encouraging from you. And like I said, I still sometimes I'm sort of surprised and wondering if 
we should take this thing serious or not. And, and God just does with it what he wants. And so I'm happy for that. The help from the family and friends has been amazing. James stopped around years ago with his harmonica. The kids helped join in. And uh, yeah, so many things like that. And today we did something new, and I'm not sure if we're going to regret it or not, but we added Instagram. Instagram, I wanted to join Facebook or Facebook join Instagram. And so we set up that account, uh, and we're going to see what happens with that. We apologize about the uh, ads that pop up. We actually don't have it set in that, uh, in that way, I think. I don't think we do anyway. Um, so we learned a lot of stuff about Facebook, obviously, and about just sitting here and worshiping together. Uh, we started our, our, our actual Facebook page, the sing-along page, started in April, and we started, or our, our first sing-along was in March, mm -hmm. but we set up the page oh, in yeah, April. Yeah. Right, March, yeah. So, God is a God that removes mountains, and this was one that was Can really popular. Can I just popular. say something real quick? Oh, yeah, all of you do. Say something real quick, um, all of you, yeah. I just thought it was kind of cool how, and how appropriate it is that there's like a gold halo above my head. <laughs> I can say something a little bearish about that. Notice that it starts with a 40. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love that. I love that. Yep. <laughs> and if you remember, actually, um, by the way, it's been so much fun to, to live in the same community as Chris and Dorcas here. And, and you know, we were separated by, for miles for years. And I never thought we'd have this opportunity. It's been amazing. As a matter of fact, it appears like the Lord is leading for us to take Dorcas and Chris with us in the prison as well. And we're working on that and maybe even doing a PR tour for it or helping with a PR tour. I talked with Arlen about it today, guys. So so that's a, that's a big maybe uh, where we would meet some of you too. But there the focus, of course, would be New Horizons Ministry. And, and, and it's been, that's another thing. God used the sing-along and you guys to prepare Ruth and I to go into the ministry in DOC and, and sing and share there. In many ways, so yeah. All right. Any anybody else has something they want to say, huh? You guys, you got a thought or two to share? I mean, now's your chance because we're running out of time, so we're limiting our songs. So boy, we're gonna run out of time for sure. What do you want to say, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about telling people where they put down where they're from. Oh, that'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. Kind of hearing that again. I see a lot of familiar names. I see some not so familiar. And that's another thing that amazes us is how. The, uh, the listeners are fluid. They're not always all the same. And honestly, don't get us wrong. We understand that some people come in for a minute and leave. That's, you know, that's all part of it. But uh, there's also been a lot of, surprisingly, many of you that have come in and, and joined us and become part of the Sing Along family. This song has been very important to us. Um, we watched uh, Loretta Lynn's life story. It says, I thought she wrote that song. She just must have performed it and made it well known. And uh, boy, if you ever get a chance to watch that, it's amazing how God used her. Not Loretta Lynn, I'm sorry. Duh, Dottie Rambo, who, uh, yeah, was a prolific songwriter through the years. And, uh, Kathy was the number of people need 400 minutes tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, knock it off. Boy, there's a name we should mention. Kathy putting on lyrics for years and years. There's Tristan, who played harmonica with us for a long time. There's, oh my goodness, there's little uh, Daisy. Remember Daisy? Is Daisy still come on some? Oh my goodness, what a blessing it was. We had a video of her on our sing-along. And yeah, anyway, God of the mountain, may this be your experience today that he is also the God in the valley. Life is easy when you're up on the mountain.
Somebody, I think it was Elsie Reese was saying she was thinking of Susan. I think it was Hoff Singers, wasn't it? Susan Hoff Singer and her daughter. Yeah, they joined us here once, and we got she got to hang out with Susan some and do a sing along with her as well in Indiana, I think. Okay, do you have the words to that to the your creator to the well only? <laughs> I'm ashamed to admit it. I wrote the song, but only the break. We won't do the break, then. We won't do that um, bridge. I mean. Greater things. things than these, yeah. yeah, yeah. Those are two songs that I wrote. You guys so uh, so appreciated it seemed like, or at least told told us that you did. And so we're gonna sing that to you. This song was born out on the farm, you know, being out there and watching nature, to seeing how God created everything so beautifully. See. See the blue in the summer sky when I feel the blue in the morning grass when I smell the fragrance of the flowers in the spring I just thank you Lord for creating all fun doing that breath thing that's kind of a, a family thing that we started doing and we'd love to hang on to that idea <clears throat> yeah with the many challenges in life this is another favorite one 
Yeah, Dorks can take us away. I think I do this in C usually. Yeah. too loud on the same side. Stick around, kids. We won't, we won't get too sentimental here. It's time to wrap up before too long, so we want you around for some songs about heaven here, too. I want to do What a Day That Will Be Out of That What's that? Oh, yeah, Greater Things. That's right. I did mention that. So it's based on the story in the Bible where Jesus actually said, you guys, don't be so amazed. I'm going to do greater things than these, or you're going to do greater things than these. And it wasn't that we're going to do anything greater than Jesus. 
It was just that um, he he was like, the people were so amazed that he knew Nathaniel's name and all that. And I often wonder what that meant. So I tried to put in the song version, see what you think of it. the shores one day, teaching his disciples, showing them the way. He saw Nathaniel, and he knew him by name. Well, Nathaniel was amazed that Jesus knew him there and willingly he came. But Jesus said, you'll see greater things than time ago, uh, I, I feel like it was of the Lord, maybe it was because I needed it, but we talked about, we decided to do some love songs, uh, paying special attention to love relationships, especially between a man and a wife, uh, father and mother and, ch and children and so on, so we're focused a little bit on that, encouraging you all to take care of those marriages, you don't realize what you have until they're gone, until one of them goes on to heaven or until something sad, terrible happens, um, they are a gift from God. And they don't come easy, right? So God tells us to love each other and be committed for life. Cold at my love. 
figure out a way to wrap this up. It's 123. Do you guys have a song that you'd like to do yet? No, we can go we can go over that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I don't want to, you know, make it so bad that the kids will wish they never have to sing with us again either. Uh, or Logan, you know, for that matter, you know. He probably has a phone call coming. No, just, um, yeah, we could do What a Day That Will Be. Let's do that one. That's a beautiful song. I was thinking of uh, Psalms 34 too. Uh, so, uh, oh, yeah. No, that would be too hard. I love that magnify the Lord with me, but anyway. Yeah, we can do it. All right. I have copies of it. Right here. There is coming a day. Mama's favorite. I can hear I can still hear her singing it in my memory. We're gonna do it in a what a day. There is it is what a day, yeah. in that black book that you have. Oh, yeah. Uh, wasn't it in there? Maybe. Oh, shoot. I thought it was. Maybe it's not. If it's not, we can't do it because I don't know about memory. <clears throat> was it picked out here? All right, people. Let's pray for each other tonight. Let's keep on encouraging each other. Hey, uh, you, you pick out um, you pick out Sweet By and By, don't you, in, in, in G or something? 
Or don't you? Logan. There's a light no. Okay, go for it. You think? Yeah, we'll do this one. But is there, or is there one uh, hymn that we can do an acapella, totally acapella? No. Okay. All right. I was gonna do it like Old Brother Cross or something. Yeah, let's do that for Michael Swanson. Michael must have requested Old Rock and Cross a thousand times, and we will. And that's not bad, Michael. But we will sing one verse of Old Rugged Cross acapella. Oh, and Gigi, you want the melody line? Don't you see our wedding song to become Ooh. one? The other couple sang that song. We don't know that one. Uh, I don't know. We know that I one. Think the Marianne. other couple sang that one. They weren't on earlier. Sorry, we did sing. Sorry. We sang God Happy in anniversary. Story. Happy anniversary. Yeah, happy anniversary, you guys. We sang it earlier. We also sang Rose of My Heart for you guys. Maybe. <laughs> or some for you, right? Anyway, a verse of Old Red Cross. Oh, and you went to Soprano? Go ahead and I'll take your base. On a hill far away Stood an old rugged cross The emblem of suffering and shame And I love that old cross Where the dearest and best For a world of lost sin Cherish the cross, the old rugged cross, till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the cross, the old rugged cross, and exchange it someday for a Amen. So we're going to leave you with this uh, song from Psalms 34. The Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir sings it so beautifully, and uh, we love it. I love the words to it. I want to encourage all of you. Seek the Lord, find Him, taste and see that the Lord is good. I wanted to quit it, put in a quick word about New Horizons Ministries. We were called to serve as chaplain at New Horizons Ministry. Dor or the, yeah. Ruth is going with me, my wife three days a week to the Buena Vista Correctional Facility. We sing in county jail once a week. If, you want, if you're interested at all in showing support financially, love your prayers. Love the way you're praying for us. God is doing a work. Uh, look it up on New Horizons website or on our Facebook page at the top of the page. Um, yeah, it's partly your donations that makes it possible for us to do this. Sometimes I'm like, I'm getting paid for this? It's amazing. But, yeah, so God bless you all and a happy new year. We're going to sing this. Yeah, prison work, that's what I meant. I saw the Lord, and he answered me. 
in the new year. He'll give you everything that you need to be an open cup to walk with him. Let's pray. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we exalt you tonight. It is our desire to magnify you, not only here in this sing-along, but in our lives. I pray for your anointing, your touch on each one's life who is in the living room sing-along tonight. Father God, raise up a, an army of, of people who call on your name, who put their faith in you, who are not ashamed of you, and who serve you with their whole hearts. And that's our desire for us. We pray for healing for those who need healing spiritually, for those who are struggling with wounds, deep spiritual wounds, and are wondering if they'll ever be able to have victory. We pray for them, lift them up to you. We pray for those who are struggling emotionally, Lord. You know the, the struggles with depression. You understand their grief. And Father God, I just lift them up to you. Pray for strength, for courage, for your supernatural joy. We pray for those who are struggling physically, who are sick physically, and need healing. You are, nothing's too big for you. So tonight we pray for those who are sick. We lift them up to you. And Father God, as we go from here, we pray that you would be exalted. You're an amazing God. We love you. In Jesus' precious name, amen. God bless you. Thank you all for joining us. What's that? Oh, Ruth wants all fly away. Sorry, love you. You don't get off the hook easy at all tonight. We did it at the beginning. We're doing it at the end.
foot up too at that or something. I forget. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. <clears throat> <coughs> well, I thought we'd just sit here and talk for a while, huh?